Hi, it's Sarah Taylor. Hi, I'm gonna show you my colors for this painting. So these are all base coat colors, which have satin enamel in them. Um, this is like a dark kind of phthalo turquoise color that I used in my last um, smaller painting that was called, um, oh my goodness, <laughs> I can't remember. Anyways, um, it was a smaller painting I did recently and that's that color. This is like a Naples yellow. And then this is this kind of cobalt, like a, not cobalt, but like a graphite gray. And this was the left, some of the leftover paint that was from a big painting called Duality. It was black and white, so it's a nice deep gray and a white base coat. It might be a little thick. See that trace, that mound? I'll probably add a little bit more water to that. You want it to kind of vortex when it comes up off the paint like that. Okay, so colors. Quinacridone, Nicolazzo with Modern Masters. A bit of black. Uh, this is a color called Fern by Lucas. Uh, this is a mix between Soho Green Gold and Golden Fluids Green Gold. This is Rich Gold by Modern Masters. And then this is a white mix. This is Iridescent White or Iridescent Pearl by Modern Masters and I mixed in some Golden Fluids Titanium White. Uh, this is Turquoise Green by Amsterdam with a little bit of Golden Fluids Turquoise. It's got a little bit of magenta here. Can't remember, I think that's Amsterdam Magenta. And then this is Charbon Indigo, one of my favorite colors. I just love it. And then this is like a Prussian blue, Payne's gray and black. I just wanted something really dark for some contrast. And I did pull out um, a 24 karat gold cloud over mix. That's just 24 karat gold by DecoArt mixed with um, Liquitex pouring medium GAC 800 and a bit of Floetrol. And then these are bloom paints that I might play with a little bit. A burnt umber, kind of a dark green turquoise color um, and some orange. I think that's quinacridone and Nicolazzo and then some maybe some high flow. I'm not sure if I'm going to use these. We're going to kind of see how this goes. And I fashioned this. <laughs> you guys are going to think I'm crazy. This thing. Um, and uh, I'm going to see what happens. I'm going to play with kind of a different concept here. So, all right, we'll see you on the canvas. So I just want to talk a little bit about this. So 
I had this concept of kind of creating this like oval type design around the center section of the painting. So I'm putting puddle paints kind of inside that cardboard area and on the outside. And it was definitely ex an experiment. Um, I'm gonna, there's a spoiler alert here. So I'm showing you this whole process just because I wanted to share the full process of kind of where it went and how I ended up with what it, it ended up as in the end. And this was actually really kind of enlightening and I might try something similar to it again, but I learned quite a lot from just trying this out. Um, and kind of where it derailed a little bit was I, I used too much gray in the base coat and the cardboard, it should have been longer. It should have sort of gone all the way off the edges. Uh, it would have given me a better opportunity for what I was going for. So I'm going to show you this. I'll show you the wet results. And then I bring you back in and I actually paint over a lot of the paintings. So stick with it. And there's some dry detail brushwork that I filmed um, that brings us to the final painting. So uh, if you have any questions on this at all, let me know. And I thought this part was actually kind of fun to watch. So I wanted to show it, even though the outcome wasn't not, it was just too much yellow and too much gray. And I didn't really like how they, the colors had mixed and, and trying to go back and color correct that much of the painting is not really ideal. So, all right. Uh, thank you so much for being here with me. And I'm going to talk to you more on the next section of this painting as well. Okay.
Okay, so here's the painting dry, and I loved the center section. I loved the concept of this composition, but I really didn't like the painting all that much other than that. So I just decided to sort of go for it um, along the outside of the center section of the painting, with, and that's just some nice base coat that I'm putting down with a palette knife. Um, in a deep turquoise and white, kind of creating the composition that I had envisioned. And I'm going to run over it with some different pearl paints and also some different bloom paints and some high flow and kind of create what, uh, what I had envisioned. So I hope you enjoy this. Uh, please do um, follow, and if you like the art I'm creating, consider subscribing to my channel and I've got a great Patreon account with some teaching content and all really beautiful ways to support me and I actually am accepting commission work currently so it's something I adore doing. I really love creating something specific for a space and for uh, an individual so Contact me if that's something that you would like to do, and I would love to uh, embark on that adventure. So, all right, take great care and much love, you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.